All right, what's going on, guys? This episode is going to talk about telegraphs and counting auto attacks. Now, there are a lot of abilities that have big, long windups that are pretty easy to react to, but there are some abilities that are hard to react to, but there's a set amount of auto attacks that come before them. Consequently, the boss we're going to practice this on is Raksha. Now, Raksha is really good to practice this on because he will always do four auto attacks before his abilities, and then his auto attack counter gets reset between phases. So as long as you're counting autos, even if you're not exactly sure what's coming next, you can still be prepared for the next thing to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a kill. And during the kill, I'm just going to go through what I'm thinking about and what I'm preparing for. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll see how I learned to go about doing a reaction kill. So let's get into it. Just so you guys know, the first thing I'm thinking about is that Raksha will always do four autos before every ability, so let's just keep that in mind. So let's say I didn't know what was going to happen. So, okay, I know something's going to happen here. He does this tail swipe. Okay, so it seems to have a certain range, right? That has to be dodgeable. There's no way I just can't dodge it. So now we'll go back in. And we'll just do this for every single mechanic. So we're going to try moving back one square now and see if that's good enough for us to dodge that. So it's two auto attacks. Here's three auto attacks. Here's four. So let's move back one square. Okay, so one square isn't good enough. So let's reset again, and then we'll try it again, moving back two squares this time. Okay, so let's try it again. This time, after four autos, we're going to move back two squares, and we're going to see what happens there. So it's auto attack number three. This is auto attack number four. So I move back two squares. Okay, I dodge the attack. Now I know every single time Raksha tail swipes, I have to move back two squares to dodge it. So here's auto attack number three. Here's number four. So we'll see what happens here. So I get stunned. So I see I that I'm stunned. And then this attack comes down. It seems to be a magic attack. And then it leaves this smoke cloud on, on the ground. So let's reset the kill and apply what we've learned. All right, we'll start up again. So we know we only need to step back two squares to dodge tail swipe. So that, that's really good. So now every time we see a tail swipe, we already know that we need to do that. So that's the second auto. Here's the third auto. Here's the fourth one. I'm already hovering my mouse where I want to move. And we dodged it. We didn't lose any damage at all. So now I know this is a stun. So we're going to free him after he stuns me. And then see what happens. This is fourth auto. Okay, so I know that it leaves a thing on the ground. So I'm just going to dodge it. And also, it looks like the magic attack doesn't track me. It just stays where I am. Or it stays where I, I was. So, now we know that. Okay. Okay. Now we know that a tail swipe comes four attacks after the shadow bomb. So, that's really good. Okay. So, we've done phase one in, what, four attempts? Okay, so now there is a ton of these rocks, and it seems like if we stand still between phase transitions, the rocks are pretty likely to hit us. So let's try running around after the phase transition and see what that does. Again, we're just doing basic setup, 
summon our guys, walk forward, life transfer, and activate ghost. Okay, that's two auto attacks. Three auto attacks. I'm already hovering my mouse two squares behind me. Okay, we dodged that perfectly. Didn't lose any damage. One auto attack. Two auto attacks. So I know this next one's a stun, so I'm actually going to anticipate after the third auto attack. So I anticipate here. And then it looks like this doesn't track me, so I'm going to wait for it to start falling, and then I'll move. So that's two auto attacks. I know another tail swipe is coming. Three. Four. Back up two squares. Okay, so let's try moving around here. Then I'm also going to basic attack as I'm moving around. Okay, so it looks like I took significantly less damage because I was moving around. And I was also basic attacking. So I was able to get a little bit of damage out there. Okay, so these balls appeared and I start taking typeless damage. So I'm going to click on them and I stop taking typeless damage. So now I know, okay, whenever those balls appear, I need to click on them. So I'm not sure which mechanic is coming next, so I'm going to anticipate here just in case it's a stun. I'm going to hold my mouse here in case it's a tail swipe. It was a tail swipe, so I'll move back two squares. Okay, and we phase him again, so we're going to do the counting. Or we're going to do the attacking while moving. Okay, so I'm still hit hitting Raksha. Says he anchors me to the shadows. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so now he starts pulling energy from all of these shadow pools. So it seems like I need to kill them, but I took, but I didn't know that, right? So let's teleport out and we'll do everything up to here, except this time we're going to think about our toolkit and how we can kill these shadows. Okay, so now we're getting ready for the phase transition again. And what I know about Necromancy is that Threads of Fate lets me do AoE damage. So let's try using Threads of Fate on, on these pools. So here we'll auto attack this one. We'll auto attack this one. We'll auto attack this one. My Threads of Fate ran out, so I'll just use Scythe on this one. Okay, and all the pools are dead, and they don't seem to be coming back, so cool. The Shadow Ball spawned again. I already know I need to click them. So, we're back to counting autos. That's number two. I'm not sure what mechanic is coming next, so we're just going to anticipate on this third auto attack. Okay, so this is Shadow Bombs. So it looks like there's three of them. So what I'm going to do is just keep on the move while dodging them. And we dealt with it. Even though that's our first time dealing with the mechanic, we're thinking about what the boss is doing, and it's making it significantly easier for us to deal with what's going on. Okay, so now we're into Phase 4. So let's attack him from out here and see what happens. Okay, so I got stunned, so it looks like it's going to be a Shadow Bomb. Okay, it is a Shadow Bomb. So let's try standing inside the ring and seeing what happens. Okay, that was a Tail Swipe, so I already know that I can just step outside because it's a Tail Swipe. Okay, so now he has a shield, so I want to pop the shield and see what happens there. Okay. The Keeper said to collect the shadow, so I guess I'll go and do that. I also noticed that Raksha was doing a mechanic every two auto attacks, so we're going to make sure we step back inside the ring after every two auto attacks. But we are going to collect all of the shadow. 
that's one auto, that's two, we'll step back inside the ring. Okay, that's the last of the shadow. So now we have the special action button, so we'll press that. And it looks like it increases our damage. What does this do? Oh, it increased our damage by 10% for each stack. So that's really good. So now what we can do is we can just burst down Raksha. So we're going to go into a living death rotation, which is what we've talked about in the past videos. There we go. So by thinking about what the boss is capable of and by preparing for something to come next, we were able to get a Raksha kill within a half hour, I would say, of just doing kills, paying attention to what the boss is doing and going into the game knowing, okay, every four auto attacks, something is going to happen. So this is why counting autos are really important and hopefully... You guys can start learning bosses like this because as you saw, I wasn't doing anything crazy. I didn't do a living death rotation until the end. I used skulls when it was off cooldown. I used volley of souls sometimes. I wasn't very good at it. I was using bloat occasionally, not very often. The point here is that thinking about what the boss is doing means that and counting your auto attacks means that you're never reacting to what the boss is doing. You're always prepared for what's going on. And now I know the rotation that Raksha is going to do, you know? So if I were doing this off stream and I were warning Raksha for the first time, I would do a second kill and see if there's any RNG in his rotations. Didn't look like there was. So, okay, now I know every single time in phase one, he will four autos, tail swipe, four autos, shadow bomb, Four autos, tail swipe. In phase two, he will four autos, poison the mind. Four autos, tail swipe. Four autos, shadow bomb. In phase three, he will four autos, poison the mind. Four autos, triple bomb. Four autos, tail swipe. In phase four, two autos, tail swipe. Two autos, tail swipe. Two autos, shield. And then two autos, tail swipe. And then he dies before he ever does anything else. This was all learned just now by paying attention to the boss. So hopefully you guys can incorporate some of these skills into your bossing and combine everything together and be able to pick up bosses relatively simply by going in to learn and focusing on what the boss is doing. Now, obviously my fundamentals are pretty good, but if you noticed, I was doing all the stuff I said I was gonna do in this series. I prepared for his abilities, which is something that we learn now. We counted autos and prepared. We know where all of our abilities are. So when we needed to anticipate, we did. We didn't make any excessive movements. We only moved when we had to and only as much as we had to. Obviously I didn't bring any food, but because I didn't make any crazy mistakes, I never had to eat. Yeah, so whenever new videos come out, we're gonna be building up on all of the stuff that we've learned. And ideally, it's going to become a little bit easier for you guys to pick up bosses as time goes on. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.